Yo, you wanna know what's going on in the UBA? We giving y'all some real talk. Who got something to say? New topics every week. Sometimes we have. Uh, let's go on to the next one. What, what, let's do President of the Year. Let's President, President of the Year. Of the year. President, okay. of the year. President of the Year. Smurf Nation. It's not. It's not Smurf Nation. I don't know if you guys heard that, but we have Smurf Nation. We got. We got some Smurf. They're, they're waiting. They're waiting. We got some they, Smurfs. They're gonna up yes. They're gonna be up next, but. President of the year, I mean, we have in the North, we have three candidates. We have uh, Liddell James from DGF. Which, you know what? Which is every year. Hey, you know what? I love Lucky. Lucky's a great guy. It's, it's, it's easy to be the president of the year when you when you yeah. like, all-stars. You know, uh, it, it, I mean, come on. It, it, even so, he's able to bring in new bowlers every season that can help the team. Last year was Alex Cavanero. This year was Najee Myers. He also got George Gohagan. On his team this year. How did Ray Marsh feel about that? He doesn't like it, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. You know, it's 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 all in benefit of the team. They're making themselves tough to beat. Now, will they get through the playoffs this year? We don't know yet because there's some competition. I think this. I think this year more than most, DGF Are is the most vulnerable this they, year. And you know what? I'll be honest with you. Now, you for the UBA sake. If I'm the UBA, and I, again, I'm speaking without knowledge of anything. If I'm the UBA, I am most definitely rooting against DGF. They should have lost four times last year in the playoffs. They, they got away they they, they, they they got away from a lot of matches last year. They got They same, should have lost that X Men match. They should have lost X Men match and the well, I mean They should have lost Top Guns. They should have lost Top Guns. They should have lost Dead Flush. You know they should have lost against uh they, they beat Good Brothers. They should have lost against Matrix though. Right. You know, they, they got they got saved by J.I. Johnson's eight hundred last year mm -hmm. and Rusty's seven eighty. Otherwise they, they only won by a little bit of pin, a few pins. Yeah. And then they got to the final four. I mean they dominated at, at Battle Bowl. They did well. They, I mean, you know, listen they, they did well. They're they're the champs for a reason, you know, and But they, they the reason why Luck is always uh, you know nominated for this is because he keeps improving the team. He Correct. keeps bringing in bowlers that, that that can help the team out. Uh some of the guys, they don't like that they're bringing in a guy from Texas, right. GG3. You know, why are you bringing him in when we have what we have? Correct. But it's, it's all in benefit of the team. Listen, depth depth is never a bad thing when you're running a team. It's, it's always, it, it, hey, I, I much, you know, it's literally, you know, when, like someone complains about DGF, it's like you're, you're crying with two low, you know, loaves of bread on the, you know, each arm. Like they, they have a surplus. So if you know what? Race Marsh ha or Manny Gonzalez has a bad day, no problem. We're going to take Manny out or Manny gets hurt. They can't but, win, but, though, when Ray is not there. That's what I heard. Moving on. Well, I mean, they proved the next, that, the next, they proved the that when that team went, to, went, went to Nationals. Miss, uh, Miss, Miss, Miss Kristen Wells of the Raging Bulls. Now she doesn't bowl. She doesn't bowl at she all. Is legit, she, she is might be the most legitimate. She might be the legitimate only member says, that is president of the you year. You guys go. She puts, she pulls go. the strings, and I mean it's real easy when that you. That team when has so many two twenty-five plus bowlers on it. On they, it, they, I, I believe if I checked, they have because they, like I said, they have a ten-man rotation. I think they have twenty people on the they roster use one total. One handicap bowler and one hand, scratch. one handicap, eight scratch, it's, and, and they, out of those eight scratch, I think six of them are two thirty plus. And they win every match thirty plus. Yeah. It's 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 ridiculous. You know I mean, they they use I mean t they use the DGF m mentality. You have to. Not our nine best. You're gonna beat us. Listen, season tour, and you know, I I, I tried to explain this to my team, okay? Because you know we're all getting ready for playoffs and we're trying to do lineups. And I compared the UBA season to a baseball game. Okay. And I told them, I said, listen, I said our starters and our bullpen got us here. Yep. Now it's time to bring in the closers. Well. They don't need closers. They have their, 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 their starters, team is their closers. Starters, their bullpen, they all are closers. They got a they got a, they got a team of Kershaws. And uh, well, it's, just, it's, it's DGF and and uh, Raging Bulls. They both use the same mentality. However, the third president of the year nominee is Lamar Palmer from Team Marvel, and and very deserving. It, it's 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 weird to say that Marvel or to see when you look at averages and you look at like the the, 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 the roster, how they're actually doing what they're doing. Yeah, but. When you compare this year to last year, what's happening is they are actually bowling consistent. They're, they're using yes. also a, a small rotation, and regardless of how many people they have, that's, you're starting to see that more and more. And have, I think I think that's that's also what has contributed to the the, the boom of the UBA mm -hmm. because a lot of teams are starting to go to small rotations of maybe like 
10 to 15 bowlers where like these are our 10 to 15 best bowlers yeah. and this is who we're going to put out there every well, time and then you have the other bowlers that not necessarily aren't our bad bowlers, but they have to. They want to play, you got, you got and to, they they make win. a choice, and they want to make a choice. Now, now Marvel, they have sixteen people that sixteen bowlers on the roster that have bowled more than nine matches, right. more than nine games, more right. than three matches. But what's different from with them is that ten out of those sixteen, which is a, a great percentage, sixty three percent. Ten out ten out of sixteen have averaged within five pins of that entering average or higher. Right. Which you don't really see in the tour stops. No. It, that's rare. I mean, you can take a whole division and you can see like only 25% of the division is, is averaging higher than entering average. Correct. They have 63% of the team averaging higher than the entering average or, or within five pins of it, which is crazy to think about. That's that's the reason why they're winning. Now, can they can, can they sustain? Can they keep going? So here's my thing. It's, it'll it's, be, it'll it's be different once round, they round one, round one, I believe they're facing Black Rain. Yes. If they are in to, Bowler City, in Bowler City, if they are to get through round one, mm -hmm. do they have the firepower now to match up against a potential BC crew in the second round? Where you're talking about well, a Mike Angelus, a Joe Navarra, when you, an Ian Lang, when ju you, just to name three uh, of them. Uh, I'm sorry because they they've already beaten BC crew this year. No, no. But my thing is, what, what was what's happened with BC crew is that they. Are either bowling really great or they're bowling really bad. I, I also they think have, it's a matter of availability with that team. They have, I really do. They have four or five losses where they've only taken single digit points. You know, so it's either that, and these are with, with Navarro in the lineup. You know, it's either they're really good or they're really bad. So it, but what Marvel's doing is they're matching up and they're bowling just enough to win every time. All right. Their, their scratch pay hasn't lost at all this season, regardless of who they bowled against. Their scratch pay is perfect also. They're perfect in record, they're perfect in scratch pair. You know, handicap hey, fans, they, they matter, but, you know. That you, would, he would get my vote. Lamar, Lamar would get my vote. Uh, it's it's, it's, it's going to be tough, man. DJF is always there, though. And Kristen is new. Yeah. She's new. You know? Hey, listen. But who, who's in the South, man? South, we got two. Two, okay. Okay. We had one, but then he was taken off. We're okay. not, not going to go over who okay. that was. We got two. We got Kevin Bean of GOAT. Guy runs a tight ship. Releases more people than anyone. Keeps and the South, tight, he, he, keeps, he, keeps, he keeps that roster that tight, legit, man. but he, he keeps it where, you know, everyone bowls, everyone does their thing, but they know that, you know, there's no messing around. You know, he runs a tight ship. The second one is Jessica Novi. All right. Um, Hitman. Hitman. Yep. Right. You know, uh, Kevin Decker was the president. Yep. Now his fiance has taken over the reins. He's smart. <laughs> running over, running over the, uh, running the team, and she's doing a phenomenal job. Like, like we talk about, Hitman right now is the team of the South, and for, you know, I, I'm eagerly and I'm waiting for Gordon to come in, um, eagerly anticipating Gordon's yearly odds okay. for the playoffs. You have to think that Hitman is the overwhelming favorite coming out of the South, yeah. without question. So, well, you know, we'll see. Uh, I think Jessica gets the, gets the nod only because of how well Hitman has done and how well they are doing. And, you know, she's making all the right moves, you know. So that's it, it really I mean, the, the it South speaks team, to they don't, they don't recruit as much. It doesn't seem like anyway. I, I, mean, I, I really feel like it's like, you know. Like mid-season recruiting. Yeah, they don't really do mid-season recruiting. I feel a lot of teams are just like, you know, like, all right, I've tried this team. I'm gonna go to this team, and now I'm gonna go to this team, and now I'm gonna, yeah. you know, and they just they let, they try they to sample, and then it's like where they finally settle. You know, like you have people like owners leaving. You know, last year you had Jonathan Newberry leave Synergy, who he owned, okay, to go to Riot Squad, and then he left that, <laughs> and then he left them. You know, I, I, <laughs> so, so, but yeah, all right, well. it is what it is. But we're gonna take take a quick break. Yep, um, we're gonna come we're, back with some Smurfs. We're gonna come back with Smurfs. Some Smurfs.